Aquarius Pisces friends and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so much for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And if you're not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Not only will you get access to all my live free chats, you will also get access to first uh, free question Fridays. So every first Friday of the month, I answer free questions, all right? Uh, don't forget to check out also down below in the description box, there's that astrological weather. There's also a new video called What the Bleep Will Resonate, where I updated the reading type descriptions as well as who they're targeted at and how they may serve you best. And then uh, there's also things like the list of decks to the channel and that sort of thing. Please also don't forget to check your zodiac weeklies, your sun, moon, ascendant especially, but whatever your placements are, especially your sun sign placement. Uh, from now on, these Cusper readings, they're going to get a little more specialized or a little more specific. We're going to go a bit deeper into specific ideas or storylines. So if you're looking for general messages or you're looking for more like your forecast or you're looking for a different type of reading, uh, most likely you are going to want to also watch your zodiac zodiac sun sign reading as well okay all right uh let's go ahead and get into this um let's get into this reading it's a when keeping it real goes wrong reading so it's inspired by dave chappelle and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a situation where you might want to get aggressive with someone you might want to tell someone what's what or give them the what for but there may be a reason why you shouldn't <laughs> okay Let's go ahead and explore the situation first, my friends. Aquarius Pisces, who's got you twisted? What is this situation? What's at the center of this situation or the center of this reading for you for the next seven days, possibly beyond? We do have judication, all right? So you are in some sort of legal, legal matter or legal battle with someone, or it looks like it could be the court of public opinion, okay? So uh, maybe you're already quarreling with this person. Maybe you're already fighting with this person. But let's go ahead and see what is the story like how did you get here what happened so we do have the lovers card energy along with unexpected income okay so it does feel like yeah it feels like you're this person they might have actually met someone else they might have this person might have actually met someone else they might have had an affair i feel like you're finding out about this or i feel like you're finding out about this or you found out about this and that's why you're getting separated or divorced okay I feel like this person they they stepped outside of the relationship i feel like also they it's like they just turn they they also it looks like they took money from your joint account uh for the privileged lady so with the privileged lady energy i feel like that's their that's their other person that's who they're having the affair with that's their side piece all right uh i feel like you are you know i feel like you're you're really you're steaming. I feel like you're angry. I feel like you're hurt, which of course you would be. But I think what makes it worse, we have community and message. It's like people in your family or people, people are talking about this. That's what I'm getting. Okay. They're talking about your separation, your divorce. They're talking about this affair. It's just really, it just feels like it's very difficult to deal with the situation. I feel like you want to snap at this person. I feel like you want to burn all their clothing. I feel like you want to destroy all of their possessions. I feel like for some of you, you might you might be um, you might be thinking like what you can do is like for your your shared property or your joint assets. I feel like you're actually thinking about destroying things like burning your car, destroying the house, like doing things simply because you don't even though it's going to screw you over. You also don't want this person to have money. Why? So that they can give it to their side piece. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I can feel your your anger. It feels righteous, but it also feels kind of volatile. OK, Pisces, Aquarius, or Aquarius, Pisces. I don't usually feel this this level of animosity. Someone's got you deep in your shadow energy, though, is what I'm getting. Yeah, we have we have occupation. So I feel like you're you want to make it your occupation to make this person suffer. I feel like also this person, that's where they were, that's where they met this other person. They met them at work or their their side piece. It's like everyone at, at their work seems to know their side piece, which is offensive because I feel like you've been to company parties or you know, people know that they're married. That's what I'm getting here, okay? We have main male energy. So typically uh, I will say the main male, no matter how you identify or present in terms of sex or gender, that is you in the situation. But I do feel like, yeah, so I feel like a lot of these are your feelings, but also it could be whoever this, 
whoever this, um, it could be a masculine energy, it could be someone who identifies or presents with masculine energy. They might be keeping the privilege, you know, a, a side piece, whoever this person is. Um, I feel like this is also you though. I feel like you might be, I mean, you're, it seems like you're hyper-focused on this. It seems like you're almost obsessed with the situation. You might almost be a little bit obsessed with this person's other person is what I'm getting here. So just, just be careful with there. I'm getting Dirty John, the second season of Dirty John. So please be really, be really careful. I feel like this person, they're getting you, they're definitely getting you deep in your shadow energy. <sighs> all right, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I feel like you want to do all these things, especially destroy your joint property. But you know, why should? Why is that a bad idea? What could happen? What's the worst that could happen? What happens when keeping it real goes wrong? Okay, we do have. Uh, let's take a look here. So we did have priest energy come out first. So I feel like with priest energy, I. <laughs> I feel like people might be, they might feel like you're possessed or you're out of your, you're, you're acting like you're possessed or out of your mind. I feel like someone's like, you need a priest, you need someone to help dispel the shadow of your anger is what I'm getting. Also, I do feel like this person, oh, hell no, <laughs> sorry. This person may actually pretend to be very spiritual. They may actually pretend to be like, I've, I forgive you, Aquarius Pisces. And you're like, of course you fucking forgive me because you're the one who's causing the problems. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we do have, we have Journey. So I feel like if you, if you go this route with this person though, if you're going to take them to court, if you're going to be malicious in court, I feel like it's going to take you on a journey of sorrows. I think it's going to, it's going <laughs> to... It's gonna prolong things. It's gonna be. It's gonna end up like having pay. You're gonna pay the cost for it. It's gonna have a toll on you, and also, I feel like it's not really going to affect this other person. It's not really going to affect your your ex or affect their side piece. I feel like if anything, you're just putting yourself in a position where you're not gonna get a very good deal because you're not dealing with what is at hand, which is the division of the property, the division of the assets. Okay, all right. We also have uh, we also have fortune energy. So I feel like also because of some of the behaviors, you could be held in contempt of court. You could owe a lot of fees or court fines for being held in contempt of court for not for not following court orders for not you know it's could have cost you a lot of freaking money, and also um, it, it people are talking so it's like it's like you don't you can't even get a, a sympathetic ear because. You know, people are talking, people are gossiping. I mean, they're more interested in the story or the, the scandal than they are about being a friend is kind of what I'm getting here. You might either be part of a religious or a very tight-knit religious community where everyone talks, or you could also be part of some sort of some sort of community where it's like very high-end, could be like a country club, a privileged community, okay? All right, we have reunion energy here. Yeah, I feel like no matter what happens, uh, I feel like in terms of no matter how much you try to avoid doing what the court tells you or no matter how much you try to sabotage these proceedings, it's like they're going to go through. They're going to go through anyway. I feel like with reunion and message, I feel like you are... Be careful about leaving continuous messages on someone's answering machine because I feel like no matter what the spirit of them are, they're going to try to claim that that's harassment or they're going to try to claim that that is, um, it's going to make you look like you're harassing them, okay? All right, let's see here. What else here? What else could go wrong in this situation? We have gift energy. You'll be working, if you do this, if you destroy your, your shared property, if you do whatever, for whatever reason, it's like you're going to be made an example. You're going to be working the rest of your life, give, giving this person even more money or owing them money because of what happened with, you know, damaging this property because you were angry, okay? Or whatever's happening with the finances, if you need to get off of being so hyper-focused on this person because it's going to be, that's going to be the rest of your life will be working to pay down debts, to pay down fees, to pay down whatever it is that's happening in the situation because, because you're 
you're angry, because you're obstinate, because you, you're, you're feeling destructive, okay? All right, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have malady. I mean, this is like a sickness. It's like being possessed. It's like a sickness, my friend. You may not see it, but you, but your your malice, it's it's infect it, it, it I mean, I, I feel like it's it's um it's eating away at it's eating away at your reputation. It's eating away at your other relationships is what I'm getting, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me more about uh, tell me more about the situation. Tell me more takeaway guidance or potential outcome for the situation for our uh, Aquarius Pisces friends. All right, we do have the pedestal energy. So I feel like with the pedestal, you put this person on a pedestal, and I feel like that's now that they have shown their true colors or shown their true face. It's like or it's like it's it destroys you. It's like it's taking a big fall. Or this person puts you on a pedestal when you were the object of their effect, affection or the center of their attention, but now it's like it's hard to take that it's it's hard to take that fall seeing them treat someone else this way or seeing them with someone else when they promised you that that you were it you were their goddess or their god you were you know what I mean you were the person that they that they wanted to spend the rest of their life with that they were passionate about. We have fire energy. I, I really, I'm going to say this. I really do feel like someone is thinking about burning down their house, burning down their shared house or their property. I, I think I'm trying not to put um, too many time sensitive stamps, but I think I might actually put that on, on your reading just because I just feel like someone is actually thinking about doing this. And it has something to do with fire. It has something to do with arson. Okay. We have the moon energy. Why? Because someone is hella deep in their shadow energy. This is also Pisces energy in the Tarot. So I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you hella deep in your shadow energy because you took this fall and you want to watch them burn. You want to watch, you want to watch everything you built together burn. All right, we also have third eye chakra. Yeah, I feel like here in terms of third eye chakra, you're. I feel like you, someone, spirit source, God, your your guides, your ancestors, people. Something is trying to intervene so you don't you don't give in to your rage so that your shadow doesn't ride you. I feel like you do need to meditate. I feel like you do need to purify, cleanse, meditate, try to stay connected to whatever is going to hold you back from taking these very severe actions. The moon card energy, that's primordial feminine energy. So because you are angry and it's like, it, all you see is fire, all you see is rage. I also get, um, I don't know. I feel like you you may still, all right. Some of you are, not, are gonna get pissed because I'm saying this. <laughs> Um, maybe it's not for all of you, but some of you are, are angry and hurt and upset because you can't admit to yourself that you still want this person or that a part of you believes that even though this person stepped out on the relationship, even though they might be getting remarried, like they're not going to leave. You're just, you're, you just can't believe that they're leaving this relationship, that they're not in love with you or something like that. Okay. For others, I will say there is something very dark and ominous here i feel like this could end up in you know judication but it could end up maybe it ends up in um it could end up with you in court maybe because your rage is so much you might hurt this person or try to hurt this person or assault this person this is really fucking sorry it's really serious stuff in terms of i mean you're going to really dark places with it so i think it's a good time for you to maybe maybe you should pray or maybe you should get some spiritual counsel some um some sort of counsel, some sort of guidance that's going to keep you from taking this very severe action because you must know, my friend, once you take this step, there is no going back and it really opens the door to have you be completely ridden by your shadow energy that by the time it's over and you open your eyes and everything is in flames around you or everything is ashes around you, it's going to be too late, okay? Surrender. Surrender your anger. Surrender whatever this plan is. Don't don't move forward with this, you know, talk yourself down, find someone to talk yourself down. We have the sun energy. So that is, for me as a reader, primordial masculine energy. We have both primordial feminine, primordial masculine energy. You need to get a hold of yourself. You need to contain your anger with the sun card energy, because if you surrender to the divine, or if you surrender to forgiveness, you know, and it doesn't mean that this person's going to get off scot-free or whatever, but if you surrender your anger to the divine, I promise you, good things will happen. You will not be screwed over in the situation, okay? 
Also, for some of you, you need to realize femin primordial feminine, primordial masculine, sun and the moon. Yes, you have fire, you have chemistry with this person, but it's volatile. It's not it's not necessarily healthy. It's not stable. And, you know, this person, they are deciding to move forward. OK. All right. Uh, open heart energy, though, I do feel like, you know, there's a bitterness or, or a sadness or a heaviness or a shadow that's infecting your heart. I feel like you really need to watch out for that. Otherwise, you can find yourself in really hot water is what I'm getting, okay? All right, that's what I've got for you, friends. Please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you, and all of creation.